Today, one for the owners of any of these devices. Garmin devices that support Connect IQ, such as multi-sport watches or edge head units for cycling. Connect IQ allows you to download third-party or Garmin's own additions to your devices, such as apps, widgets, watch faces, and data fields. Previously, installing and managing Connect IQ apps on your devices was a little clunky. It wasn't the easiest of tasks. You had to download the Connect IQ app or jump on the web and sync things over to your device and fingers crossed it'd sync over. It was a little clunky. The good news is Garmin have now released the Connect IQ App Store app, which simplifies the entire process. Available for both Android and iOS. I'm using the iOS version here today to link up to my Garmin Edge 1030 and my Forerunner 935. So once the app is loaded here, you can see, looks like a standard app store. We can scroll through, have a look at uh, different options, what's popular. There's quite a few things to choose from. The top menu there shows watch faces, device apps, data fields, widgets, device management, etc. So jumping into the device of my Edge 1030, you can see there watch faces, device apps, so just some status of what's installed, the space available, and what we can do from there. So jumping back here to the main menu, we'll scroll across and install Trail Forks, which I know is quite popular with the gravel grinders and mountain bikers. We hit OK on the permissions there. That goes to the queued downloads. So the next sync, it will come down. You do need to make sure that your Bluetooth connection to your phone with your device is set up and working, which can be quite troublesome every now and then, but once that's up and running, the apps will install okay. So you can see now Trail Forks now shows up. I've got to give it a little more time to sync across. There we go, that should be good to go now. So Trail Forks is now on the device. I'll give it a few seconds to grab GPS location here in the Llama Lab. That's a good test of the 1030 to see if you can get out the window. There we are, and the local Trail Forks is around Black Hill and Mountain Bike Park here in town. We'll select one of those. Okay, so notifications that are on my phone, some screen recording just stopped, so phone notifications are working quite fine. So with the map loaded, we hit download. Then we choose which profile, so obviously outdoor road is what we want to ride the outdoor course with. It will then load the course into the system, and happy days. Here's the map of the course. And there's the open street maps I have loaded on the 1030. So not a full review of Trail Forks, however, just showing you how easy it is to sync up the apps and get things working. Okay, now switching device over to the Forerunner 935. And the management of that, we click back, and we can see this full status there of watch faces, device apps, etc. So we'll go and create a new watch face. Okay, pulling up this baby llama or baby alpaca, we'll create just a temporary watch face and send that over to the unit. We'll have to rename this to baby llama packa, either or. Okay, on that, that then adds that resource or that watch face resource into the sync queue. You can see that pops up. And then after the next sync over to the watch, it will be a selectable watch face on the Forerunner 935. Okay, it should be all synced up. We'll jump over to the 935, run through the menus, and see if we have the alpaca. There we go. <laughs> Cute as a button. There we go, customized watch face on the 935 via the Connect IQ App Store app. Quite simple. Okay, that covers the Trail Forks app installation, a customized watch face for the 935. Let's have a look at the Stride Power data field installation. I already have the data field installed here. Same process as before, you just select it from the menus. But what we'll do, I'll show you on the data fields on the watch how to select a Connect IQ data field for the running interval. Okay, settings of run. We scroll down to data screens. And you can see there, my second screen has three data fields on it, layout three fields, and field three is stride power, which comes from a Connect IQ app that's installed.
or connect IQ data field, sorry, to be more correct. And when I'm running with the stride power meter, it will be shown on screen down there in the third field. Next up for a bit of fun now to install a widget, we'll install Flappy Bird on both the 935 and the Edge 1030. So I switch device after I've selected Flappy Bird for the 935. We go back to the menu, scroll down, Flappy Bird, download. So the process here is a lot easier than the previous process of Garmin Connect and Garmin Express and cables and things. So we wait for the sync to take place. And down on the screen here for widgets, uh, not screen brightness, we want across. And here we go, Flappy Bird installed that easily on the 1030. We have to touch the screen to try and, yeah, okay, I failed there. And if you recall Flappy Bird from the mobile app, it's exactly the same. Okay, giving up on Flappy Bird on the 1030 here, let's go over to the 935 and see if I'm any better with the button rather than a touch screen. Scrolling through the windows here to get to the widgets. Okay, onto the Flappy Bird widget and pressing the button there, that's the interface for it, the top right hand button. Still not much luck on the watch. My Flappy Bird skills are failing. Now, as a reminder, this has absolutely zero use whatsoever out on the road or for a, your sports watch or sports head unit. There is no need to load Flappy Bird. This is just a demonstration of what is possible for Connect IQ apps or widgets in this case. Oh, finally, score. High score of one. <laughs> All right, I think we're done with Flappy Bird. It's not my thing. So there we have it, happy days, and a much easier way to configure and manage your Connect IQ app experience on your Garmin devices, from trail forks through to Flappy Bird and beyond. So if you're a runner, hiker, or just a beer drinker, there's something in the store for you. I'll link below so you can dive in and have a look. Alrighty, thanks for watching, and remember to support this channel, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated.